Who's the D-Marine? I'm the D-Marine! Hi guys! Look at this absolutely beautiful cabbage that was grown in my parents' garden. They sent it home with me to prepare for them. So they just wanted it to be plain old, done in a slow cooker with uh, like southern style. Unfortunately, I have no neck bone and I have no interest in going out shopping right now. So I'm just going to prepare it with lots of seasoning. <laughs> but I thought, gosh, we have such a lot of cabbage here. Why do we have to do the whole thing that way? So I'm going to also do pickled cabbage and I'm also going to do stuffed cabbage rolls. So let's prepare this. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've never cooked cabbage before. Um, I made purple cabbage once. But like I did it like sauteed style with some other greens and a meal. I've never actually just made cabbage. So this is winging it. But I feel like half of the cooking things I do are always just winging it. So let's get started. All right. So I'm thinking the really big fat outer leaves would make would be really good in the slow cooker. And from the videos I've watched on how to pick the leaves, I'm going to do most of this chopped up and pickled along with carrots. I saw a lot of people using sweet peppers, but I don't have sweet peppers. I have a regular pepper, or is it a hot pepper? I don't know. Let's see. So I thought I'd work on getting the fattest leaves off of the head for the stuffed cabbage first. Now in my house, my daughter absolutely hates cabbage, so it's probably going to be just me eating it. So I'm going to try not to make too much. And again, I had to make more if it was just more than just me eating it, but my parents just want cabbage on the side and Angel doesn't want any part of cabbage. <laughs> okay, and so I've never made pickled cabbage before, so I'm not going to make a lot of it. I'm just going to do one jar full, see how it turns out. Alright, so some of the pickled um, cabbage recipes I've seen have chopped cabbage, which we've chopped, peppers, which... This one grew in my parents' garden, so it's going to meet that cabbage that was in the garden earlier. And I've seen carrots, and we haven't been growing carrots, so getting it out of the bag. So I'm going to chop that up and add that to it, too. All right, guys, so I chopped this all up, and the recipes I've seen say put it in the jar and then mix the pickling juice together. And yes, guys, the reason I keep saying the recipes I've seen are because I went on Pinterest, I looked up lots and lots of recipes. I suck at measuring things. I absolutely suck at following directions. So I'm just going to throw together what feels right and pour it in. So the recipe calls for water, sugar, oil, vinegar, and salt. 
and it says bring it to a boil and then pour in the jar. Yeah, brought it to a boil, mix it together. I'm just gonna let it cool for a minute. It actually tastes pretty good, guys. Alrighty, I'm gonna pour this in now. So I made just a little too much, but that's okay. Make sure it's to the top. Gonna close this up. So we did this, this is the stuffed cabbage. I don't know how long it's supposed to sit. I'm gonna look up those recipes again. Um, I think it's like a day or two. Who knows? <laughs> I know guys, look. You don't come to my channel for cooking recipes. You come for good ideas that you can look up the recipe and do it yourself. All right, so now um, I'm gonna work on the filling for the stuffed cabbage. Now most of the recipes I saw was like stuffed ground beef and rice and peppers and things like that. What did I say? I don't wanna go shopping and I don't have any of those things. So I'm going to chop up an onion. Um, the rice, I have rice, and I have some um, chicken thighs that I made for another meal that I'm going to chop up some more and make into the wrap for the stuffed cabbage. Carrots cooking down in the juices from the chicken. I have a feeling I've made more than leaves I have. On the plus side, I did not cut up the cabbage to go in the slow cooker yet, so I could probably have more if I need it. Alright, I got my sticky rice mix. I didn't mix all the rice in or all the chicken either because I just felt like it's just way too much. Um, but yeah, so I got my sticky rice mist and let it cool for a minute and then I'm going to try to wrap them in the lettuce. I mean, lettuce, duh. I'm going to try to wrap them in the cabbage. Alright guys, we have our slightly cooked cabbage. We have our sticky rice, vegetable, and chicken mixture. And we're going to roll it up. We might have put a little too much in here. And tuck it in. <laughs> not the greatest for the first one, but not bad. Not bad. Let's open on one end. That's okay. <laughs> well, that was a bigger leaf, so that was a little easier. <laughs> Miss, I won't eat cabbage. I only got these couple. 
that's okay. That will be my lunch tomorrow <laughs> and dinner because that's a lot. Okay, y'all, so we're on the last step. We're doing the greens in the slow cooker. I added some vinegar, salt, pepper, um, onion, garlic. We're gonna let this boil down in the slow cooker overnight and um, see how we like it in the morning. I mean, this is the first time my slow cooker has ever been needed to have something mashed down. That is a lot of cabbage, that one cabbage. And my parents still have two more in the garden that need cooking. So, good morning guys. <laughs> Um, I added the outer leaves as well as the inner leaves, so that's why it kind of looks like collard greens. But they're done, and they taste yummy. Mommy's going to try the cabbage roll. You like it? Mmm. Very, very good. Okay, so now we're trying the cabbage. Mmm. You like it's a little soft for me. Mm -hmm. I would like mine a little more Dante. <laughs> okay. But it's very good. Mm. It's seasoned very well. Okay, guys. So the recipe I was generally following for the pickled cabbage says it only needs to sit for 12 hours. And it's been sitting for 24. So I'm going to try it. I am not really into pickles. But this pickled cabbage, y'all, is so good. I'm gonna let it sit a little longer. Well, one, because it's nighttime and I'm ready for bed. Wait, this is good. I did a good job. So, so that is three ways that I did a uh, cabbage. Guys, comment below what other suggestions you may have because literally, like I said, we've got two more ginormous cabbages in my parents' garden and I've got one growing in mine. And I'd love to try different recipes or ideas. What do you suggest? And um, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, I'll check you later.